Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maya, if you're new here. I'm a 24 year old who just relocated to Columbia, South Carolina last week and I share pieces of my Romans 828 life here on the internet. I hope that you guys enjoyed my first moving vlog. I know that it wasn't super long or super in depth. That week, like moving week, it's just a lot. Like I said in that vlog, shout out to the girlies who are good at like moving and vlogging because it really can be a lot so i tried to get for y'all what i could get but we're back with another moving vlog today is sunday july 28th and i actually went home this weekend because kalia and bj literally got engaged i'm so excited for them um and just so excited to see like what god continues to do through them and in them and how he uses them to advance his kingdom so Congratulations to Kalia and BJ. Yeah, I went home for that and I came back today. Literally, I got in around like 4.30 or so and then I came home and took a nap because I was so tired, y'all. Like, on the road, I was so tired. And Columbia is about three and a half hours from the Atlanta metro area. So that drive, I was like, man, I'm tired. Last week was my first week in my new apartment. I moved in on Monday, so tomorrow will make a week that I've been here, which is crazy. I focused a lot last week on just getting different things. Um, and today, I'm actually gonna go grocery shopping for the first time because, you know, we gotta be cooking and stuff, so we're not spending a whole bunch of money. So I'm actually about to make a grocery list i think tonight for dinner i want to make spaghetti and then i think later on this week i probably want to make some tacos i'm stuck between tacos and salmon so anyways my list my list my list i want to go buy breakfast lunch and dinner to help me stay organized and make sure i get everything so breakfast i need eggs i need almond milk um what else do i eat for breakfast Oh, chicken sausage. I'll probably get some of the frozen potatoes because I like to make like sort of like home fries. Sometimes I make them from scratch, like cut the potatoes up myself um, and do that. But sometimes it's also actually maybe I won't do the frozen con. I'll probably get regular potatoes because I order an air fryer and that comes in on Tuesday. So I, I won't do the frozen ones. I'll just make them myself. Bagels. So with that, I need cream cheese. Probably should get some jelly. And this is the thing, again, I just moved in, so I don't have anything, so I have to get like everything. So I'll probably go ahead and get some oatmeal because I do like to make oatmeal. This is not necessarily breakfast, but I need bread. So lunch, I don't think I, oh, also, I don't know if I said this in my first vlog, but I moved to Columbia because I got a new job. I'm working as a content strategist at a marketing agency. For my first 30 days, I'm going into the office every day. So like, you know, I'm trying to think of like lunch ideas too, like things I can eat at the office. I saw some chicken salad. So maybe I should get, hmm. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Cause yeah, I need to think about that. So let's skip down and go ahead to dinner, things I need for dinner. So like I said, I want to make spaghetti. So ground beef, I need some Parmesan cheese. I want some type of like garlic toast to go with it and then I'm gonna do a salad to go with it tonight. I think I'm just gonna get chicken instead of salmon because I don't want the salmon sitting in my fridge that long. Like if I got salmon, I would probably wanna make that tonight. So I'm gonna do chicken. I need salsa, cause sometimes I like to eat salsa with eggs. I need potatoes. So I also need to get some seasoning. So of course salt, pepper, onion powder garlic powder onion powder garlic powder uh, onion powder garlic powder seasoning salt and whatever else kind of seasonings i feel like i need when i get there i think this is pretty good um i'll probably add some fruit to this whatever else i can think of but i think this will get me this will get me going i really wanted to start shopping at trader joe's because that's what a girl's one of the places that the girls on TikTok be shopping, but my boyfriend was like, he saw this video and it was a guy, I guess he unloads trucks or something for grocery stores. And the guy was saying that Trader Joe's consistently had the worst produce of a lot of grocery stores. 
So that kind of freaked me out. I was like, okay, I guess I'm going to do Trader Joe's. So for now, we're going to stick to Publix. I do want to try Whole Foods as well because I've seen people saying that Whole Foods actually isn't as expensive as you think. And then maybe I'll try Aldi's eventually too. But for today, it's 6 o'clock. I just want to go to Publix because that's what I know. That's what I'm familiar with. You know, another day when we have more time, we'll venture out and try new things. But like I said, I want to make my spaghetti tonight. So... We are gonna go ahead and go. Um, I ordered this pot set from Amazon, but I had it accidentally shipped to my mom's house. I swear I thought it sh I had it shipped here, but I shipped it to my mom's house. So when I went home this weekend, I brought that with me. So I'll show y'all that when I get back because that's actually in my car. I left it in my um, trunk because I didn't feel like bringing it in yet. But let's go to the grocery store. Okay, y'all, does anybody use Apple Maps? And if so, have y'all noticed that it don't be showing exactly where you're supposed to go like it'll just recently it just started being like for, for me at least my apple maps just started being like it'll just show me in like 1.3 miles turn right but i'm like okay but what what exit am i taking apple like where am i going especially with me just moving to a new place i'd be like i need you to tell me exactly where i'm going not not that i'm just about to turn so I don't know, I think I'm about to switch completely over to Waze. I typically only use, see, did I just miss my turn? Oh, okay, I was about to say. I typically only use Waze um, oh, on like road trips and stuff, long road trips. But I don't know, it's given I need to use Waze full time because I don't know why Apple just started recently doing that. Like, I need you to tell me where I'm going back at the house so we're gonna do a grocery haul this is my first ever apartment grocery haul i got a lot of stuff i spent like where's my receipt i don't know i spent like two two something but you know i had to get everything that i needed so let's just get into it olive garden italian dressing grape jelly extra diced tomatoes in case i want to put these in my spaghetti tonight minced garlic literally love garlic so much Almond breeze, almond milk. I don't drink dairy milk, only almond milk. Parmesan cheese and some sour cream. Tater patties. Remember I was telling y'all I was thinking about getting frozen potatoes. Um, I did end up getting some, but these weren't the ones I was actually thinking about. But I like these because they're quick and easy to make in the morning for my breakfast. I also got some chicken sausage. This is the only brand of chicken sausage I like. This stuff, y'all. These right here so good. These garlic knots, I've never had this brand before, but they look good. I wanted them tonight with my spaghetti, of course, so. These juices were on sale. I got cran apple and white cran strawberry. I really don't drink like soda, so juice is my alternative. I got these little Velveeta mac and cheeses. I think these are so good. My mom makes fun of me because I like them, but they're good to me, you know, for like a little snack. I got a whole bunch of seasonings. I'm not gonna run through those because I don't think y'all really care. Like, I got the seasonings, you know, the base seasonings everybody get. But I'm going to put them up here. Oh, shoot. Also got some honey. This is um, pure and unfiltered honey. And then I got some avocado oil. I, like, switched over from olive oil to avocado, to avocado oil. I don't know if it's really any better, but it made me feel like I'm being healthier, so... I don't know. Okay, this will have to go in the uh, in my pantry. I got some actual Yukon potatoes for in the mornings when I want to actually cook potatoes instead of just using those freezer ones. So I like to use those potatoes specifically for like breakfast potatoes. I got some sugar and some grits. Y'all know I'm from the south. Love grits. Also got some apple and cinnamon. Ugh, why can't I talk? Also got some apple and cinnamon oatmeal. Some halos, cause we need some fruit, need some vitamin C. These caught my eye, these little sweet chili noodle bowls. They were on sale. It was like two for six or two for eight, something like that. Um, so I decided to try these. Again, a quick little snack. Maybe I could like take these to lunch one day. But 
I'll come back with an update and let y'all know what I think. Of course, some spaghetti noodles for tonight. Ragu sauce for my spaghetti tonight. I got these croutons. And then I also got, what do I do with them? I got those crispy onions. Do I put them up? Mm. Yeah, I'll put them I literally bought crispy onions and I can't find them now. Oh, so I also got these crispy onions. I love onions, but crispy onions are a great way to just jazz up a salad. I was going to put these in my pantry, but I think I'm going to put these up here. Also got some bacon with bacon with some bacon bits and some taco uh, seasoning mix for when I make my tacos. I got some salsa. I typically like to eat salsa like with my eggs or with a wrap in the morning for breakfast. I got a bag of salad. I didn't feel like buying lettuce and like making a salad myself. So I just got a bag real quick. I got this Kerrygold butter. I wanted to try the kind in the container instead of like, you know, the blocks. I just feel like this will be easier for me to cook with, so. Also got some Tillamook cream cheese. This is like my favorite brand of cream cheese. Shobani Greek yogurt. This is a great snack, great source of protein. I should've got Oh, I was gonna say I should have got two of them, but this was the last one left. Normally, I will get two at a time. Eggs, a must have. I got these cage free eggs. I think eventually I wanna get like the little acrylic container thing that you just put your eggs in. I got a um, acrylic container to put some of my drinks in. That comes in to, that comes in Tuesday, I think. String cheese, great snack. Uh, mild cheddar cheese. Got some ground beef for my spaghetti. I'm not gonna show y'all just because I feel like. It's kind of gross, so I'm just gonna put it in the fridge. Ketchup, because we need ketchup. Two different tortilla wraps. I'm gonna use this for my tacos, and I like to use these kind of wraps for my breakfast wraps. Loaf of bread, pretzel chips, great snack, some bagels. So that is my first ever apartment grocery haul. I'm gonna start cooking this spaghetti, getting this stuff ready. It's 8.16, so I'm probably not gonna be eating dinner until like 9.30 tonight, but it's cool after that i'm gonna spend some time with the lord okay cool after that i'm gonna spend some time with the lord um i need to like actually anoint my apartment i didn't do it when i moved in because i couldn't find my anointing oil and now i found it i did pray like for my apartment when i got here but i want to actually like physically anoint it you know so i'm gonna do that tonight i got my cookware set so let's open it up Oh, it came with some tongs, super cute. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a dishwasher so I can wash that stuff tonight. Everything else came in boxes, it looks like. Ooh, instruction guide. Y'all, got my lid. Oh Lord Jesus. Let me, all right, let me get this out and then I'll show y'all. Here is like my cookware set. I got it all in this off-white color. It's like speckled on the inside. I don't think y'all can see it. And then it comes with wood detailing. So like here's a pot, the top obviously, but you know, it has the wood detailing. Pans, this pot. So I'm gonna use this pot to cook my spaghetti, but I need to wash it, of course. So I'll probably use that pot to boil the noodles and then maybe, oh wait, maybe actually cook the spaghetti in this and then probably use this to cook the ground beef. It also came with its own sponge, which I think is super cute. Hey y'all, happy Wednesday. Literally Wednesday, I've not vlogged since Sunday. I don't know, it's like I get off work and I have to run to Walmart or Target to like whether it be, I don't know, whatever I, I just be needing stuff. Like I'm cooking and I'm like, oh, I need this. Or I'm like, oh, I'm running low on this. I need to do this, like, yeah. And then by the time I get home and I cook or I eat and I clean up the kitchen, it's like literally like 9.30 and it's like, dang, like, all I got time to do now is read my Bible and go to bed for real. So I'm so sorry, y'all. Not much has really been going on, to be honest. Like I said, just been doing those things that I just shared with y'all. But I was like, I still need to kind of pick up the camera and vlog a bit. So right now I'm getting ready to go to Walmart because I need some things. I need toilet tissue because I'm running low, paper towels. I also need a cutting board and individual knives because I wanted to cook tonight, but low key, it's giving, it's giving like those noodles that I had bought or something, just cause it's like, 
It's already 7 12. I don't feel like cooking. We gonna cook tomorrow, but I need to go ahead and get the stuff today so that I can be ready to cook tomorrow. So tomorrow when I get off work, I can just like go ahead and cook, you know? So yeah, we're gonna go to Wally World so I can get what I need. Work this week has been really good. I'm gonna sit y'all down right here. Work this week has been good. It's been a busy week. Um, and it's only my second week, but I feel like I'm slowly, very slowly kind of getting into what I'm doing. I've been onboarding to different client accounts. And so onboarding just kind of looks like getting the information on those client accounts, um, information about their socials and, you know, campaigns we've done for them in the past, looking at the contracts we have with them, things of that nature. Been a lot of onboarding, a lot of meetings and things. I'm very grateful, y'all. I know that I'm gonna really enjoy my job and it makes me want to cry <laughs> it makes me want to cry and even right now um, I'm getting the opportunity to get into influencer marketing which is actually so exciting I think because I've been on the opposite end of that and so getting to like learn because that is all new for me as far as on the brand side you know like I know it from the influencer side. I love my company. Um, I'm getting more acclimated to like the culture and everything. So I'm grateful. I didn't do this on my own. And sometimes I get questions from y'all like, how'd you get your job in marketing or whatever, whatever. And I'll be like, Jesus. <laughs> like for real, like not even trying to gatekeep or be funny. It's like, I don't know. Like the only answer is God. I don't really have no. Ain't no like secret sauce or things I can say. All I can say for real is, you know, if you in college, try to get some internships, um, join some on-campus organizations, like get some leadership experience. Outside of that, that's all I got for you. If it were not for him, I would not be where I'm at today. When I was in college, late in my late college years, late college years, I made the decision to follow him because nothing was going my way. I was trying to get all these jobs and internships at the time in like the music industry and it wasn't going my way. Doors kept closing and it was like, all right, Lord, I don't know what to do. I give it to you. And ever since I gave my career to the Lord, ever since I submitted what I wanted and submitted my career to him, he has really, really blessed me and really opened so many opportunities for me and just i don't know i feel like i I'm, I'm just grateful i've had some really dope um opportunities in my like professional life and it's like i'm only 24 so i'm so grateful god is good y'all today's literally thursday i have not done a good job at vlogging as you can see i just got home from work i'm literally sitting on the floor in my living room y'all because i still don't have a couch i haven't even found a couch i found a couch that i like but it's like 1200 dollars, so i'm just kind of like okay girl be for real like you don't need a 1200 dollars couch yeah we're gonna do some apartment updates um i, I kind of have a lot i need to get done tonight like I need to unpack, y'all see I got boxes right here. So I need to like unpack those boxes. I need to unpack my shoes, kind of organize my closet some. I just need to go ahead and get that done. You know, like before, I just wanna have it done before I go into the weekend so that this weekend, I don't have to worry about that because this will be my first weekend in Columbia and I wanna just kinda enjoy it, you know? We gonna see what we get into. We gonna see what the itinerary is. But I want to enjoy it. I don't want to be unpacking this stuff. So let's do some apartment updates. Okay, TV is up, I believe. I told you guys that I got a 55 inch. Um, my dad paid for someone to come over and set it up. I could have gotten a TV a little bit bigger, but at the same time, I'm not really tripping about it, you know. There's that. Bar cart is currently right here. I have not like actually decorated it. I think that may be on my list, my to-do list this weekend, is to decorate it we'll see these are some boxes that i need to unpack like this is a lot of like tech stuff and i think some stuff that needs to go in my bedroom these are books and notebooks and of course like those books needs to go on my bar cart in the kitchen now obviously and yesterday i got my air fryer it's so 
cute to me. I actually need to wash it. I just hooked it up because I wanted to play around with it, but I didn't cook anything with it. Um, but it is like, it's just so cute to me. I love her. I love her so much. She's from Amazon. From Target, I got some cutting boards because I didn't have any. I also got some actual cutting knives. I decided against getting like the set that comes in the wooden block. So I just got me a few little knives, you know, to do a little something with. Small little random things. I got these oven mitts from Target and they're, yes, they're actually oven mitts. You slide your hand in right there. This is what my bed is currently looking like. My bed itself is from Wayfair. Um, my comforter set is Target. These three pillows are Marshalls, I'm pretty sure. So I'm really liking my bed. I think she's cute. I actually hung this up this week. I think I showed y'all this or told y'all about it, but it's from Amazon, this print. At first I was not a fan, but it's growing on me. Um, and I think from afar, it looks cute too. This is currently what my bathroom's looking like. No major updates. Um, I don't think this mirror will be staying here. I just had to like put it right here cause I needed it, but I don't think it'll be staying there. I got this trash can. I want to say from Walmart. Yeah, that's all of the little updates for now that I wanted to share with y'all. I thought I was going to end off the vlog right there, but I'm back. Um, I've been organizing things for like the last hour and a half. So I've been working on my closet. I showed y'all it before, I think. So let me show y'all now. This is currently what we're working with. It's still very much a mess, but like it's slowly starting to come together. So... I have some of my shoes up there, as you can see. I still have more. I literally have to go back home and get eventually, but that's what we're working with for now. I got these down here. These don't have a box, so what I'm thinking I'm going to do is buy a shoe rack to go right here to put loose shoes in. Obviously, dirty clothes, nothing special. Iron, ironing board. I set it up with, like, jackets and sweaters and stuff, and um, I think I'll... I'm trying to decide because I kind of want to have my jeans, my pants here in the middle. So I was thinking jacket, sweaters, long sleeves, pants, and then go more into shirts and stuff. And then I have this other box. This box in here in the living room. Ooh, bright. That, um, like a lot of this stuff goes in my closet. That's how I had it at my mom's house. I had these like baskets that I put in my at the top of my closet. So like this had um, this has hats in it. So like I'll put that in my closet to organize. Oops. So let's go ahead and put it in there. And I think I just want to put it right there on that show. My neighbors are being loud right now, and they've never been loud before. And it kind of sounds like they got a kid. You know, like them little footsteps, and I'm like, I ain't never heard a kid before, so what's going on? This basket has, like, purses and stuff, so I'm going to put this one up there. 